to the next team and it's that's my guy tim it's the florida gators tim how you feeling about this schedule overall man did you get to see any other uh schedule reveal show you mute it you mute it yeah i'm coming off um yeah uh yeah i saw i saw a tad bit um i know i saw it was at tebow laura rutledge all those guys on there so uh, I got to catch a little bit. I've been working, but yeah, uh, you saw me hiding over here. Uh, <laughs> um, I know who uh, I'm not familiar with the last guy. I think he, he's, he's an Auburn guy. I didn't know he was yeah. going to a yeah, nine team yeah, yeah. SEC schedule. Uh, yeah. Right now. I, I, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> listen, I told, listen, I told that guy when I saw the schedule, I said, listen, I don't care. Nine game schedule, conference schedule or not Florida. I, don't, I haven't even seen the big 10 schedule, but Florida, definitely has the hardest schedule in the nation <laughs> yeah uh those non-conference games what is that three out of the four non-conference games are in the state of florida so you got miami florida state ucf uh mm -hmm. and then you got little old sanford on there but uh you know any of those teams hey depending on how things go for them and during the off season, you know miami's up and coming right saw what fsu did this year and probably gonna hit the portal hard again and then you got old gus malzone down there at ucf hey could get interesting uh, <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Jason, listen, they play 11 power five schools, dog. 11. Dog, yeah. they don't even get any G5s. It's just Sanford and then it's off and running. What you thinking, Jason? Yeah, I think Billy's in deep shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think Billy's in deep shit. It's a tough, I mean, look, man, it's it's already been tough for him as it is, I think. But yeah, when you you look at it, you where's the where's the easy one? You know, you just don't have one. So uh, I think that unless they can get it turned around, I mean, you could see in, the, you know, the way that they are there as far I mean, as the, with, with Florida fans are tough, man. It's like, uh, you know, it's just like Oklahoma fans really. And, you know, some of those Ohio state fans, they just, they don't give you a lot of time if you don't get it done. So I think that overall, this is a tough, I mean, you open with Miami, you know, then the A&M game's been, you know, kind of, that's that's a tough game for you, I think, as well. At Mississippi State might be, maybe I don't know, man. It's a it's a tough schedule, bro. This is a tough schedule right here. That's right. I think you that, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. On your game, if you're if you're like at the one of the if you're one of the best schools right now, and you're you know you love your lineup, you love your roster. I think it's still a freaking really hard schedule. Yeah. Mm, it's that guy. Eleven P fives, man. Like it does. I'm gonna be honest with you, dog. Like it just really doesn't. And they, no shot at Vandy, but Florida didn't even get Vandy, dog. Like you know, they didn't get the, <laughs> like the, like Jason was saying. I think if you're talking SEC, Mississippi State's the worst team that they got, and that's not even uh you know, like it's a, a cupcake or nothing like that, dog. Like Florida got stuck, especially going into year three for next year. It's that guy. Yeah, I mean, you you look at that Mississippi State game, but it's at Stark Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that's still not pleasant. Hey, at least give them credit for scheduling the entire state of Florida. At least we'll find out who the real champion of the state is. But, I mean, you look at this and uh, old Sunshine Billy might be, out of a, might be out of a job, might be going back to Furman to be the offensive coordinator or something after this year. I don't know. But I just don't see how you navigate this. You're losing people in the portal. It's not pretty. Listen, man, uh, Tim, even if you can navigate that front half, you know, I feel like you guys, like Miami is up and coming, but you don't know what team you're going to get. So that's, so you know, it's just kind of like a 50-50 game. You win the Sanford game. We don't know what Texas A&M is going to be under Elko. You got to go to Mississippi State, but that's technically, technically, man, I'm looking at the beginning of the, the, the schedule. Those first six games, you could be five, six and oh, anywhere from four and two, to six and oh, if you handle your business, it could be worse. But that back half after that, starting Georgia, bro, it's mm -hmm. Georgia at Texas, LSU, Ole Miss at FSU to finish the finish the season. Tim, what what's the likelihood going through this schedule, especially mm -hmm. that murderers row at the back end that Napier is still your coach at the end of the year next year? Yeah, so I'll start just at the beginning real quick because I think this is an interesting because I, I look at the schedule two ways. I think with a coach who's been struggling, right, um, we know momentum on and off the field, off the field right now with all the portal guys, that you got some guys flipping. I think this is a perfect way for you to win back Florida Nation, right, the Florida Gators. If you can navigate this schedule and show progress through this, 
the way the schedule is set up, I don't think anybody in the right mind is expecting Florida to win all of these games. But if you can actually navigate the schedule, show some, you know, uh, some pulse and some life on this team, I think you actually have some positive notes here. But on the other hand, hey, right out the gate, you just lost to FSU, right? You're right now technically, what are you on a five game losing streak? You go into yeah. this year, you'll be you lose to Miami, you'll be on a six game losing streak. And then guess what? This is this is where I think trouble starts to happen because if you go to what is that texas Mm a&m mississippi state both of those are first year head coaches and if you lose to you lose think about losing to miami right we'll we'll talk it up right you know you might survive that one but you go to texas or texas a&m come to you at mississippi state you lose both those games to first year head coaches i'm telling you right now florida (laughs) the gator fans are going nuts um and then let, hey, we don't even need to talk about that back half. Uh, we'll talk about it when it gets here. But, I mean, just like I said, talking about a nine-game SEC schedule for Florida right now, eh, I, I'm going to pass. And I love seeing, like, better games, tougher games. But, hey, you can't get no harder than this right here. When you look at this schedule, too, Florida, uh, I think right now, went six win streaks when you look at the series uh, overall, six win streaks, six lose streaks. Uh, Florida, they're 0-2 to Texas. They technically played three times, and they uh, drew out one game. Uh, so, you know, I'm I'm just not looking forward to uh, <laughs> this season, especially, guess what? Florida's going to be a young team again with all the portal guys who've entered the portal, and then you're going to have to bring in portal guys who, you know, the thing about the portal is very hit and miss, and you also have to get those guys. It takes them a few games sometimes to translate what the team is. Some of these guys are coming from uh, JUCO. We just signed a JUCO player. Uh, can he translate mm-hmm. to the SEC? Then you're going to have to fit in guys. Guess what? Florida offensively on the offensive line, the most important position to me in the SEC. Guess what? If you can't navigate this again, it was terrible last year. If it comes and the same thing happens, the SEC is just getting better. I, I just don't see uh, any progress. Like I said, I do think that if he can show some momentum, get the offensive line um Um, under control and then also I think that at times when you watch this defense last year it was god awful but guess what this defense if you go back and look at the last four games uh, starting at Missouri and then where we go uh, LSU um, Florida State Florida State um, and I'm missing the team so we went Arkansas uh, Arkansas LSU Missouri and then Florida State but when you watch those games the first half as a bad defense they got you stops Guess what happened? The offense didn't go put up points. We have a coach yeah. who's an offensive-minded coach, and he can't score points when your bad defense is getting you stops. In the Florida State game, your defense that's so bad got you a safety. <laughs> like, you know what I mean, <laughs> what else do you want from you know this defense? And plus, guess what? You have a first-year defensive coordinator in Austin Armstrong. Of course, he was going to make mistakes uh, with a historically bad defense. What were you expecting? I think Billy Napier has to go put up points on the board. Uh, I think the defense is still probably going to be. It's going to be uh, up in the air because they're making some coaching hires, you know, changes all around. <sighs> yeah, yeah, man. It's going to be interesting <laughs> for 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 Billy, man. If nothing else, dog. I mean, I, again, until I see it with my own eyes, I'm telling you right now, this is definitely the hardest SEC schedule. Um, I, I'll I'll hold off on the Big Ten when they do their schedule release, but for sure, especially where the games are placed. Like I say, that back half, that last five game stretch, man. Just as it stands right this moment, that's probably only going to, that's probably going to be, that's a good chance that that's a one and four stretch for you. And I'm thinking LSU may be the, or Ole Miss. Ole Miss doesn't play good running around. So maybe two and three, but like going to Texas, Florida State, I don't know who the quarterback is going to be. So maybe you can get it there, but I, I don't see the dogs letting up. Uh, yeah. And especially like you said, if, if, if Billy does bad in that first half, and now you kind of lose the, you know, the locker room kind of sort of say that back half is not what you want if you lose that locker room, man. So before we move on to the the next uh, team, which is the Georgia Bulldogs, Tim, tell me the two games as a college fan that you're just excited about. Uh, obviously, the Texas game at Texas. I mean, mm-hmm. I think and you're speaking from a Florida standpoint, right? Or this schedule, yeah, the whole schedule, yeah, just, this, this schedule, just from this. schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I think uh, Florida, uh, Florida versus Texas, because I. Florida's 0-2 versus them. I think, you know, it'd be Mm. great to kind of change that series, right? They haven't played in a very long time. But it'd be great to change that series around. And then I think the uh, other thing is Miami. I'm going to put 
two more teams on here, Miami and Florida State, you know, you. Uh, the king of Florida. Like, I think that's another way to kind of redeem yourself. You lost to Florida State last year. Uh, and guess what? Last time you played UCF, you lost to them, too. So <laughs> it'd be a great way to kind of redeem yourself. And Billy against, you know, our rivals uh, hasn't been very successful. Like I said, I think this is a blessing in the curse schedule because it can be a big blessing. Navigate this the right way and you're back in, you know. Uh, you're established. You can establish your name in the SEC because I think when you look at Billy Napier, who is he? Who is the Florida Gators? What's the identity? Great way to redeem yourself on the schedule, and then it's also a great way to uh, just cheers to everybody. <laughs> a right. lot of drinking. <laughs> right, right, right. So, hey, man, before we move on, man, go ahead and tell the people where they can find you at, Tim. Yeah, you can find us on uh, YouTube at Talking Sauce, social media at Talking Sauce, uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Uh, me and my co-host Juice, we shifted over to a morning show. I also do live call-in shows. You guys can join and be a guest. Yep, we drink uh, all the time. I'm drinking right now. And uh, with this, the way the schedule is going to navigate, I'm going to tell you, you're going to see me drinking a ton. So get Big Sauce with us. Hit us up. You can be a part of the show. Appreciate you having me on, brother. We got it jumping like it's that valley. I call my dogs out the pound. Let's go eat. Turn on the fan at it. Let's have a debate. Who really hold down the southeast from state to state? What team hungry gonna eat everything up off they plate?